But hey guys, welcome to the channel. Glad you're here. Glad you guys are having an awesome week so far. Uh, I've been trying to chat with you guys on the community tab, which I don't have to show you where the community tab is. Once again, you guys are smart, and I trust you. I know you guys can. You guys get on there all the time, so... I don't have to worry about that. I mean, unlike Sweeties fans that can't use crayons or speak proper English, <sighs> that's fun. But anyways, it's awesome seeing all the kind comments coming in about in the videos or on the community page. And I know I'm usually all over the place with my stuttering and stuff, and I'm not perfect. I know I'm not. I know I'm not. But I wanted to talk about something that it's going to be happening for a lot of channels, not just mine. You know, a little over a month ago, Sweetie has come to Ironton. It may have been a little bit longer than that. But we started out with a content nuke. And it kind of blossomed from there. With the uh, ultimate thing was the, the auction where he came face to face with me. It's been interesting. It's been interesting. I've been made. I made a lot of videos. Uh, a lot of people really like the sweetie interviews, which I love doing those. I love doing those. Those are fun, and I, you know, I like to do more of those. But if you take a look at the interest for sweetie now, it's starting to wane a little bit. Um, people are just tired of it. Like you know, he's got a lot of people pissed off. They're seeing how he is. People are leaving his channel. People barely interact with him unless, you know, now that he's his revelation that everybody's a troll. Fuck you. <laughs> but anyways, anyways, I digress. I think you think people are losing interest in it, honestly. I mean, you can take a look, too, at my videos. Like, um, sometimes we go a little over, you know, 1,500 or more views. And, you know, last couple videos we did about Sweetie, especially the weird ones. The weird one I did that, you know, honestly, I didn't expect it to do that well because it was weird. But not as many people are interested anymore, in which that's, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. That means that people are fed up. People are done. Everybody can see what kind of a joke he is. And... You know, sometimes it's good to watch a train wreck, and that's exactly what this is. And you're seeing people from both sides of the argument come together for one unified reason, and that's to basically show what Sweetie actually is. And he's a scam artist. He's a loser. He's a scam artist. He's a racist. He's a sexist. All my opinion, by the way. But he is all of that in my opinion. <laughs> I love saying that. Just love it. I think I think too. Like you can see some of the bigger channels, like Mass Hall Reports, uh, Blue Bacon, um, Team Skeptic. You, they probably too are seeing this unfold a little bit. That you know people are losing interest in him, and that's a good thing. That means a people are more likely not to get sucked up into his uh, scam, and that's sad because I feel bad for his viewers that still. Hang on to every nugget and morsel that he gives out. Which, you know, I'm sorry that you have to do this. And I don't want you to find out the hard way. You know, I don't want you to have to continue pumping money into this bastard. Because he's just going to take that money and run. Either if it's his Ponzi scheme with Bobby Law. Or whoever is the flavor of the week at that time. And like I said, he's having a lot of big profile channels walking away from him. Coming out, especially on Mass Hall Report. we got Josh Abrams, James Freeman, Great Lakes Audits. You know, a lot of these people are coming and say, hey, this guy sucks. He's a piece of shit. Don't, don't pay attention to it. And it's working, ultimately. Ultimately, it's just working. People are just getting tired of it. And, you know, like, like I said, you can see people... You know, in the chat, they're like, ah, come on, no more Sweetie stuff. Sweetie's getting old. And it's true, it is. It really is. Now, I would still like to do some Sweetie things. Um, you know, I do want to interview Legicator, Chad. Uh, I would love to be on, you know, a panel with Mass Hole Report, uh, Blue Bacon, Team Skeptic, um, Uncle Artie's, uh, and whoever would like to, you know, bring me on, I would be cool with that. Um, yeah, I want to learn more about both sides of this argument uh, with the auditors and the other side. I'm more on 
you know, I, I'm the side of don't break the law. Not all cops are bad. And that's just my opinion. I've never had problems with the law. I never have. I never, I mean, I, I've got pulled over a couple times and I got a ticket for running on expired tags. But that was my fault. I broke the law. I knew I was breaking the law, even though the reasons for it was beyond my control. I was still breaking the law, and you know I paid for it. Um, you know I I don't understand the whole trying to get a rise from the police by just going up to them saying to fuck off, you're a piece of shit, die or something like that. That's that's taking it too far from me. But I would like to understand the mentality of that. I mean, I'm not saying, and I'm not going to bash you because that's your thing. You know, if that's your thing, do what you want to. I don't, I, myself, I don't support that. I don't, I really don't. It just doesn't interest me in a bit. But I do like seeing the auditors that are being respectful to the police. And, you know, even looking, like, I've heard some things about Josh Abrams. And he seems like he's a probably a really good dude. Um, you know, despite, you know, everybody's differences. You know, I've seen him on the Masshole Report talking to Kate, and, you know, he seems like he's a pretty cool guy. Um, even Chad says he's pretty pretty good. Um, I don't know James Freeman. I, you know, I don't know him, and I don't know Great Lakes Audits until I heard this stuff from the Masshole. You know, a lot of the stuff I hear or make content of is from the news I've heard from them or Sweetie's channel directly, which I hate going to his channel, giving him the view, but sometimes... In order to make content, you got to get the content. You got to kind of make it flow and some big thing that just doesn't make sense half the time. Like this video, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's just me rambling. Like I always do. I always do. But also, also, I want to talk a bit about the trolls. The troll problem. The trolls. As you may notice, if you're one, you're, you get on any of these channels that are anti-sweetie. Uh, if you take a look at some of the videos, you get to see some of the best content you can ever imagine. Like, these comments are just unreal. Uh, I posted one today. Some lady was trying to spell awesome, and it just didn't work out for him. And, you know, I notice this a lot from his viewers is they can't put a sentence together. They can't spell. They can't put a thought together. Like, they just can't do it. And it's hilarious. And I like to troll people, okay? I like to troll people. If you haven't noticed, you know, if you if you see me on some videos, you, you might notice me going back after the trolls. You know, in real life, I'm not super confrontational. But, I, you know, unless I have to be. Unless I have a mission to do that. And you've seen how that worked out whenever I did it at the auction. That was me trolling. That was me coming out of my comfort zone and be like, hey, I'm here. I'm here, I'm setting up to you, you know, it, it's fun to me, it's fun to me, it's fun to, like, I, you know, I used to let these things bother me, okay, I used to let every little thing, you know, I'd get a video, make a video, spend an hour on, somebody be like, you're fat, go die, or something, I would feel awful the rest of the day, now I just don't care, and <laughs> it's, you know, it's comfortable for me now, I, I just don't give a shit, um, all I care about is you guys. I care about what you guys want to see, what kind of content, how you guys are doing, uh, looking at the future to see maybe, like I said, maybe this channel blossoms. And, you know, like I said, a few years ago, I would never made it. I would never thought I would have made it to, you know, over a thousand uh, followers, which we have now, which is crazy to me. And, you know, I'm watching from friends, making new friends, watching their videos, getting new content ideas. Uh, just learning a lot, which, you know, my main focus for the longest time was gaming, Pokemon, movies, nerdy shit, talking about uh, depression and all that stuff. And, you know, I still like to talk about things like that, okay? I, I think there's always going to be a market for me to do that, even though a lot of people's not super interested in it, because, let's face it, there's a lot of competition when it comes to those that type of content. There's, there's a whole lot better channels than me to watch, you know, that's that's just my opinion. And I, I put myself down really, really bad. But I just want to know if you, you guys notice, have you guys noticed the drop in uh, 
views and interests in Sweetie. I, I'd like to know what you guys think for sure. And also, would you guys still in the future, well, I, would you guys still be interested in doing the Sweetie interviews? And um, like I said, whenever we see, you know, we have our new flavor of the week, we can continue being more creative and doing more interview types things with those. I do like to be like I do like to be characters. I I like to make characters up. Um, you know, I I like to change my voice when I can. I'm not the best at it, but I like to do it. And every I'm going to tell you this: I do not script those interviews. All of that, all of that is freestyle. <laughs> I I I, do, I don't script it, uh, and I, I promise you, I don't. You know, I, I'll come up with the idea and I'll think about it. Then I have, because I'm a crazy person and I actually argue with myself all the time. So I just put another person in that place and be like, oh, let's, let's improvise, have fun. But I didn't know if you guys knew that. I do not script any of these videos ever. I have it in years. Now, I do sometimes I will look at a news article and I'll be like, hey, uh, okay. I'll read off of that for a little bit. But for everything you've seen... Um, for the most part, it's not been in a script. It's all it's all been f freestyle or whatever you call it. And again, that's probably the reason why you see me choking up all the time, uh, stuttering, and you know I don't make a whole lot of edits. But that's just me. That's how I roll. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but you know, in the future, I want to kind of continue doing this and make improvements. So. Let me guys, let me know what you think. Uh, let me know what you want to see. Um, is it the end of Sweetie? That's the ultimate question. He may be gone pretty soon. Well, at least for most people. And I just want to know what you guys think. And give me some ideas of where we go next in this future. Now, like I said, I do want to do some stuff with other people. And I'm sorry I'm dragging this out. Um... And I also want to do some stuff in town, like, you know, small businesses and stuff like that. Just kind of give you guys a taste of the area. Uh, it's just a matter of coming up with the time to do these things. But other than that, guys, I love you very much, and I'll see you soon.